Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm going to review a tuna. This is a uh, northern catch. Chunk light tuna in oil. Wild caught. Contains 95 milligrams of EPA and DHA omega-3s combined per, ser per serving. 140 calories per can. And that's drained. Dolphin safe. Uh, distributed and sold exclusively, exclusively by Aldi <clears throat> from Batavia, Illinois. Sea bottom of can for country of origin. Canned in the USA, wild caught. This is a product of the Philippines. The scientific name for the skipjack tuna is Katsuanas palamas. Lamas. Catch method was purse seining, which is, I guess, the same as free school, because it's in parentheses. It's gluten free. <clears throat> um, ingredients skip jack tuna, soybean oil, vegetable broth, salt, contains fish, skip jack tuna. Uh, also contains soy and may contain bones. All right, so it's not a pull tab. I gotta use my can opener. So, hold over this. I'll probably have to drain it off in here. Hopefully I won't have no trouble. Doesn't look like it's gonna overflow. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and go ahead and drain it. Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, let me get a fork. got some <clears throat> I toasted up some bread my two last pieces I need to be eaten before I go on go for my weekend and because they may go bad <clears throat> they may go bad over the weekend so use them up Okay. All right, looks looks good. Has a pinkish, kind of a off pink, pinkish color to it. Smells good. Yeah. Okay. Let's put some on this bread. Like I always say on all my tuna videos, that when I make, when I have like a tuna sandwich, I'll you know when I, I like at home, I'll mix it with some with some Miracle Whip, 
or even real mayonnaise. Um, and my mom, she used to cut up some <clears throat> either dill or sweet pickles and put it into the mix. I don't know, that might sound funny to some people, but it was good. Yeah, it's good. Um, nice tuna taste. Lightly salty. Nice flavors of oils. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. That's really good. Nice tuna flavor. Does it taste different than regular tuna when it when it's just skipjack tuna? No, I don't think so. Um, tastes good. I'm going to cut this in half. And I wanted to try a little tahini on it. Just, and just see. I can't remember if I've done that before. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. good flavors. <clears throat> I'm gonna, just on the smaller piece I just bit off of, I'm going to try it on there. Just in case it doesn't taste right and I'm not end up wasting a whole sandwich. It just sounds like it would be good on there. Together. Right, let's see what that's like. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. I mean, it adds even more saltiness to it, gives it a little bit more. A little extra you know, flavor kind of mixed with it. Um, a little tanginess because um, I think this has lime in it too. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Northern Catch. Never heard of it. I've been going to some of these little hole-in-the-wall convenience stores that they're just not kind of a local, you know, individually owned um, little places. And they get a lot of off-brand type products in there. But I like trying different stuff. I guess that's why I enjoy doing reviews. But there you go. I mean, it was, you know, somewhat chunky. Yeah, light. Well, the flavors. Um, I don't know. I haven't had the the regular one of these, so I don't know if the flavors lighter than than uh, than the original or if 
if the uh, <clears throat> the panel of nutrients facts are showing that this is lower than the regular. Hmm. I don't know. So there you go. It's good. Good stuff if you ever run into it. You don't have to worry about it. It's good. It's good. I didn't find the bones yet. I still got another half to, to eat. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.